Louisiana heads to the polls tomorrow for the primary elections. We'll choose a new governor, and there are a lot of local races with big implications on the ballot. WGNO's Ashley Hamilton has been talking to voters today. Ashley. Voters can head to the polls starting at 7 a.m. tomorrow, and when they do, they have quite a lot to consider. There are dozens of state and local races on the ballot, including governor, attorney general, and treasurer. It's important to vote because if you don't vote, you, you don't have a voice. And that's why Orleans Parish Clerk of Court Darren Lombard staff prepared early, checking and sealing the voting machines before delivering them to polling locations. Election day is a big deal. Uh, it's very important that um, we work to ensure that everyone has the right to vote. 756 voting machines are being delivered to various polling sites. Brenda Wheeler hopes people show up and take advantage of the rights they were given. I always think about my ancestors that came before me and the challenges they had to go through in order to vote. So I always exercise my right to vote and I make sure my kids do the same thing. While most are focused on some of the state's biggest races, others remind them to take the time and research the proposed laws as well. There's always a need for more information. The more information we have, the better we can, better choice we can make. We live by the laws, and it's important we get the laws we want in there. And if you're afraid of voter fraud, Lombar wants to reassure Louisianians they have nothing to worry about. Louisiana is in the top five as far as having clean elections. We make sure that the machines arrive where they're supposed to be, when they're supposed to be there. The results make it back to headquarters, and we tabulate them. Saturday is a bus day due to be due to football games and even the weather. Lombard asks people to get out and vote ahead of time and don't forget your ID. Back to you guys. All right, the ID is important, the license. Thanks, Ashley.